Hey, Pastor Brett here. I wanted to take this video and answer one of the questions that has been sent in. The question is this, if I'm a good person, why do I need to be saved? Well, I know a lot of Christians would answer, well, even if you're a good person, God demands perfection to get into his heaven because he's holy, holy, holy. And if you're not perfect, 100% perfect, then he can't let you into his heaven. And while there's truth in that, I want to come at it from a different angle. Who said you were a good person? Usually a person says they're a good person based upon their own standards of goodness. But we need to go by what God's standards are. When we go to the Word of God, the Bible says there's no one good, no one, no not one. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Jesus, when he was teaching about the goodness of God and how God gives good gifts, he was contrasting with we, he says, if you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, he said, Jesus said that, if you, being evil. The Bible also talks about how God looked at the earth and all the thoughts and intentions of the heart were evil. Even the good things you and I do, that we like to judge ourselves by those good things, are usually tinged or tainted or stained by self-interest and selfishness. We present our best foot forward in public. We're good to outsiders, or we're good when we can't compare ourselves to the worst in society. But that's not the way God measures things. He measures things from His perspective of holiness and purity. And when He looks at us, He doesn't say, you're good. No, as Jesus Himself said, if you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. So I would challenge the premise of the question. If I'm a good person, well, if you were a good person, maybe you wouldn't need to be saved. But you're not good, and neither am I, apart from Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful that God sent Jesus, who was the good person we needed to be. He went to the cross, the sinless Son of God, and bore the wrath of God on my behalf, on your behalf, that you could have eternal life, to make you good. The only way for you to be good is for Jesus to save you. So, show me a good person. Okay, maybe they don't need to be saved, but I don't think there's any good people out there, ultimately. As I mentioned just a minute ago, let's think of it this way as well. Out in public, we put our best, best foot forward. But what about within the four walls of our home? The people who know us best, they see some of the worst stuff. They might even still say, yeah, my dad's a good guy or my son's a good kid in comparison to what we see perhaps and hear about from other parents or children. But again, the standard is the standard of God as revealed in Jesus Christ. If you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, there's none righteous, no, not one, none who do good, purely good, that is. And so we all need a Savior. Thank God He provided one in Jesus Christ. God bless you.